Hey, welcome back to No High Beer Review. Really excited to do another Christmas beer. I did St. Bernardus maybe a week ago, and I have a few more Christmas beers I'm going to drink uh, and post before Christmas. Um, I've definitely tried a lot of Christmas beers um, on my craft beer journey, and I'm kind of at a point where I know what I like to buy every year. Um, certainly, if a brewery I liked came out with a Christmas beer I hadn't tried, I would do that, or people were like really recommending uh, one for me. But uh, yeah, again, I kind of know what I like. Um, uh, St. Bernardus, Sammy Claus, this obviously, Mad Elf, um, Brown Sugar, I typically enjoy. Uh, I think I'm going to do an aged version of that on camera. Uh, some of the other Belgian ones I like a decent amount. But uh, um, this one, I don't know if people really like it or not, uh, besides me. But I mean, obviously, <laughs> okay. Obviously, enough people like it to keep brewing it. But I mean, like in terms of like super snobby beer people, um, if this is one that's sought after or not, um, it's 7.5% ABV. Uh, it's a Christmas ale, ale with spices and honey, um, cinnamon and ginger uh, specifically. I actually literally just drank some ginger water. Um, I got fresh ginger yesterday, and just part of what I used it for was slicing it up and putting it uh, in a container with some water. So I'm hoping that part of the reason I did that was so I could try to identify some ginger in this. Uh, I'm a huge ginger fan. Um, I like those like real ginger beers, um, alcoholic or not. Uh, Ithaca Brewing Company makes probably my favorite ginger beer. It's not alcoholic. It's freaking amazing. Uh, looks kind of Christmassy, a little bit of a reddish hue to it. Not quite like the Mad Elf level. Uh, finger and a half ahead. Definitely looks beautiful. Uh, that's my least favorite part of these videos. You can see what it looks like, uh, probably, unless you're blind and just like listening to my voice. Um, maybe like red with a little bit of an orange hue, but that's what it looks like. Let's get into the aroma. Yeah, you definitely get cinnamon. Uh, that honey cuts through. In terms of ginger, I'm not getting too much specifically of that, but uh, definitely cinnamon, I'm going to say, is a star. Honey does come through, so those three adjuncts, that order where ginger not really, uh, I'm going to say relatively sweet, a little bit of cereal, a little bit of that grain, slight alcohol, uh, again, it's like 7.5%, uh, 30 IBU for people who keep track of that, smells decent amount like Christmas, let's get into the glass, cheers. Ginger is up in the taste. It's a very sweet ginger. It's not like that prickly. Again, that's what I like about that Ithaca ginger beer so much. It's prickly. You get it in your nostrils. This, that sweetness, honey and the malts, it's cutting through any sort of peppery ginger taste. The cinnamon's there. It's not dominant. It's not overpowering like cinnamon can easily be in beers. It does taste very Christmassy. You kind of... <clears throat> In my brain at least starts kind of tricking you because you get the honey and the cinnamon, the ginger. So then it's kind of like, hey, you get some clove, maybe some nutmeg too, right? So it does have that, because it has some of those fall and uh, Christmas winter spices, uh, I kind of start tasting some of these that are not actually in there. But um, it definitely tastes like the season. Um, cookies, that kind of stuff. You would think, or I would think, with the honey and the regular malt billets in this, that it would be sweeter than it is. Um, I don't think, it's kind of like in the middle, like someone who likes really sweet things is not going to think this is sweet. And someone who likes really dry things isn't going to be like, this is very dry. Uh, it's relatively in the middle there. Mouthfeel is nice. You know, for a style, it's, it's just a, it's a Christmas ale. It's not, you know, a huge Belgian quad kind of a thing. It's not, um, you know, a stout. It's not trying to be something huge. But for the ABV, the mouthfeel is nice. Um, a little bit, excuse me, less than medium, probably, if you want to put it on a scale. If you like Christmas spices, you should definitely check this beer out if you have not already. Like I said, it's in my rotation every uh, season. I, I do look forward to grabbing this. Um, I probably like Mad Elf and uh, Sammy Claus, St. Bernardus more. But this is definitely in the conversation for me. And there are plenty I don't waste my money on any. I shouldn't say waste. I don't spend my money on anymore. But this one definitely gets it from me. Anywhere that you can get Great Lakes. I mean, what an underrated brewery, Great Lakes. Um, consistent, good uh, to good, like, or sorry, like good to pretty good, really good, great, 
it's in that realm. You know, I, I don't know if I've ever had a dud from them. Um, they might not get all the hype and everything, but they are a solid, consistently good brewery. They probably should get some more love than they do, and I'm glad I can give them some with this delicious beer. Thanks for watching. Check me out on un, uh, Untapped and Instagram. No hype beer reviews at those places. Also, please like, comment, subscribe, and most importantly, imbibe. Cheers, everyone.